All right, good morning. Um, we're looking at Marina Abramovics and a whole lot more today. Just try to bear with me. I'm going to prove my point that how much this world is all worshiping the same God and just the route I took. So she's here at the Ra. Oh, yes. Oh, lovely. Have your bags prepared right next to you because that's what I'm thinking, right? She's at the Ra, the Royal Academy of Arts. Yeah, of course I'm going to be thinking of King Ra because we know who they worship. They all worship the same people. Marina Abramovic is one of the most important performance artists in the world. Oh man, do they ever give her praise. And this is going on from the 23rd of September till the 10th of December next year with the Rothschilds Foundation. All right. Yeah, we all know that she stood next to him. All I can remind myself and all of you, if your gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. For God has commanded the light to shine out of darkness. You're not to stay in the dark. And I had started to look at this because of someone who died in France. And I'll go over that tomorrow. But we know she's with the Rothschilds. We all understand. We've seen the pictures. I've done my various videos on her as well. You know, the tree hugger that she is and thinking she's a hero. But anyway, we also can see how she's linked with Bill Gates. So that's why all of you guys here have not gone to take that injection, right? We understand what's going on. They had to pull that commercial down because more more people understand who she is. I'm not going to show you videotape of how they praise her, but look at Ra. Do you understand who she and all the others are worshiping? Yeah, it's the same family, the Ra family, right? Okay, I don't know a lot and I'm not one to even go down explaining all this please research for yourself I'll just show you that Ra the letter R and A equals to 19 it is it's quite amazing and a moon Ra (laughs) equals to 322 all right and we've all taken various steps to understanding all of this and how even you know the Pope is linked with this and and all the others So when you see everyone joining with the Catholic Church, we understand who they're really joining with, right? And the more you understand all this, the more it makes sense. They're all worshiping the same God. So Ra, now I get it, how it equals 19. It's also worshiping the sun, the false sun, right? The the sun, but it's Satan, Shin, or actually 19 could even equal AI, IA and flip it around AI get it and skull and bones I don't think I need to say anything more but I looked at this symbol here on the left and it had me looking then at flags so this is the little rabbit hole I went down because Russia used to be over Finland and as I said you know the Pope has his monstrance that he walks around with and we have the Queen with her coronation how she's holding the orb and the scepter And it had me looking at all the different flags. Even the American flag has the eagle. You know how it's sitting on the orb right there. Hmm. Very, just interesting, you know, looking at the Finnish flags and the various symbols that used to be on the flag. And and that are still on some flags, different flags, you know. Postal flag there, we'll look into that more. And, And the other coat of arms, because Russia also used to rule over us, Sweden used to rule over us, so we'll look into both of those just really quickly. Notice the arrows there at the top and how there's only five pointing outwards, so it looks just like the Baphomet star. Hmm, interesting, and how you'll see the lightning bolts, two of them, plus, you know, the one um, flag I can't really say more of but it starts with the letter N that used to rule during about that same time you know World War II yeah Um, but also the Knights of Malta Knights Templar it's all the same right there's a close-up you can get a look okay and the coat of arms really close-up view right there they're also holding the same things you know the orb and the scepter Okay, so it just has you wondering what exactly is going on. And these two symbols were interesting. The seventh missile squadron, Finnish Navy, is the top one there on the left, but the navy symbol is also the bottom one. 
the coat of arms, and then it had me looking at Finnish national symbols. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing, you know, the hidden hands symbol right there. And so many are ignorant to understand who all these people who are lifted up are. I've tried telling family. I've got a few videos on Nienister and even some other Finnish characters. If you're interested, just ask and I'll get to them. You know, I, I try to get to all the comments. Sometimes it's a little late, but I really do try. But the Swedish flag as well. You'll see the same Knights of Malta cross in there. Or the N, you know, that has the Z in there. I can't say, but, you know, you, you get it. Very, very interesting. And the orb and the cross. I'll, you know, again, all I can say is these are all in interlinked and they all worship the same God. And it's not God above us. It's not our God. No. It's clear to me as day what they're worshiping. And it's, yeah, it's the same Saturn symbolism that you're seeing and all the cube. We we get it. It look. This is just a path and a little rabbit hole I went down. I just thought I'd share. And it made me understand the cue more when I read what it had to explain about it. You know, coming together. Hmm. And how everybody was so on board talking about the cue and the cue movement and everything. And all I can say again is they worship the same person. And it's the lightning. It's the cube. It's every name that they've come up with. He's got so many names. And all I can say is know your enemy. There's so many affiliated with who they worship. And it's everybody. Unless they know God, they don't realize that they're on the wide path. And this is a spiritual battle. I'm not coming against anyone right now I just want to say that the key to all of this this showed up on my computer this morning and who will help you through it it's no no other can help you except for Jesus no and remembering his words to get you through these next days and weeks and whatever time we have left just understanding his word no weapon formed against us shall prosper a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand but nothing will come near us because the beginning of wisdom is fearing the Lord that's where it all starts and God is able to make all grace abound to you he can help you through it all if you just turn to him don't let fear enter your heart because that's the beginning of not trusting in Jesus. All right, that was where I went down. I'll share the person who passed away in France. I'll share about that tomorrow. I'll see if I have time for one more. Otherwise, God bless. Take care. You guys have a great day. Till next time.